Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Okay, let's see. Aries. Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. what's coming for you guys here what's coming this weekend let's see what you can expect this was too many cards Aries, Aries, Aries. you know I feel like you've been patient for a long time and change could be coming in really quickly kind of like out of nowhere like all these cards just fell out out of nowhere Let's see more about this. Okay. We have openness. Interesting. Healing chaos. Something has been at a standstill for quite some time here. But you have an opportunity coming in. Yeah, this is an energy of something is taking a long time. You could be annoyed by this. You have trust at the bottom of the deck here. So let's see more about this. You know, I feel like there was a time where you had to be really open and it was very difficult. You know, this looks like the moon card here. And things were really difficult. You had to be open to different things, to looking at things and different things. This could be associated with a person that keeps coming back around the full moon. Uh, the, every full moon, they just keep kind of popping back up into your life. You know, and it's like, hey, what are you doing here? No, you know. Um, but then you have this healing chaos. So you did what you could to heal yourself. From this situation here, the butterflies signify transformation here. And then since that, it's kind of been like at a standstill, like nothing new is coming, nothing is changing here. But with this opportunity card here, and look at how the phase of the moon has changed. So there's something coming. Hat, you will be playing a different role. Yeah, I think that is uh, very interesting and can be very important here. There could be something here where you're wanting more in your life. You're wanting to be more. You're wanting to experience more. And a time has come for that to happen here. Okay, now this is interesting. You have the lion time to act. And then you have the heart and the chain. Love, deep affection, and caring chain of events that will affect your life wow when this opportunity comes it's going to be time to act and that's that we have may here and then Bo, you were highly thought of so there could be something here that you know came up in may and then it's like, but nothing happened with it. Well, things are being put into order and there is going to come a time for you to act here. June. Could be a lot sooner than you think. And, you know, we have this full moon coming next week. This week. It's like a week away or so. I can't, I can't remember the date. So, this, you know, there's only a couple weeks left in June. I feel like there's something here that's happening. Romance is in the air. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's changes here that are going to happen. And, I, you know, it's been time. I feel like you've been waiting a long time. The universe is kind of saying, you know, it's going to happen. You know, these changes that you have been waiting for, this opportunity that you've been hoping for, this love. It's going to happen. Yeah, you have fulfillment here. Mm. 
You have drama and then you have inheritance came out. Could be, you know, it says healing chaos. So, you know, there could be some sort of healing from a dramatic situation from a person that passed away. It's not ethical to predict, predict you know, future. So this will be something, if that is the case, it has already happened. Um, but there could be time to act as far as there's something here that is for you. That has been gifted to you but it's like interesting because you see the maze at the top here so there is something about um there is going to be a time to act for something that has your name on it it doesn't have to be an inheritance but this involves something where there was drama surrounding this and or the healing this chaos is what puts you in this energy to To want to be more. And there's something about needing to wait for the right time to act in order to get something. And in the meantime, while you're waiting, being very vigilant about what you're going to choose to spend your thoughts on and choosing to spend your thoughts on more, you know, positive things and doing things that you do enjoy. And when it's time to act, it's time to act. Could be other people that are involved in a situation and um you know they're not the healthiest necessarily of people but you have to work with them in a way or you have to wait for certain things um because of there's just reasons why they're you're, you're not able to act during this time and it can be very frustrating you can feel like you're kind of locked into something here but there is going to be a time to act This is interesting because look at how the, the moons, they look identical as far, as far as just like the illustration and opposing. It could be people that just feel differently towards you. It could be different generations and there could be something that you're going to do. There's an opportunity that you have to do something that's not here now. That's what birth represents, right? This could be you getting support from an unlikely um, source here or opportunity. Um, and this is something that is being gifted to you. And it could be gifted to you because of the drama that you have dealt with or the ease that you um, handled difficult situations. And people see that someone is needed to handle these difficult situations here and how to when to act and when to disengage because like this looks like a lion and you have the lion here so there could be a fight here that you have to do to claim what's rightfully yours and there could be there's something new that's taking place that's involving love as well and you're going to be protected and it could be in a like a way that you're not expecting. Look, you have loss here and you have revenge. It could be somebody here that doesn't want you to have what is rightfully yours because they don't believe that you deserve it. it could be around some sort of jealousy here. The vision that you have for your life here. It's like this person doesn't want you to be able to have this. This could involve a child in some way and your own independence. There's something here. We're going to get tarot on this. But yeah, it's like patience. There's been a lot waiting. And then you have the health here. So there's something here about maybe, you know, you haven't been um, in a space to move forward. But it's going to come. This is going to change here. There's a person coming in that wants to ask you out for sure. And this person is either very rich or you're about to be like, what's going on here? Wow. Wow.
You could be seeing people that you haven't seen in a long time. And there's something that you want to do with something that is rightfully yours. And now somebody, this is reminding me of like Family Stone. If you've ever seen the movie Family Stone, it's on Disney+. Plus. It's a ton of famous people in it. Sarah Jessica Parker's in it. Claire Danes is in it. What's her name? Diane Keaton is in it. Is that her name? Yeah, I think so. Dermot Mulroney is in it. Whoa. Anyways, um, in the movie, she has told her son, you know, I want you to have my stone, you know, my my uh, diamond ring when you get married. I'll give it to you, and you can give it to you know whoever you're gonna marry, right? <laughs> well, he brings for Christmas Sarah Jessica Parker, who he wants to marry, you know, and she's just really obnoxious you know and the mom's like i don't want her to have my ring so no <laughs> and he's like what <laughs> she's like tough shit sorry and so basically you know through this chain crazy chain of events here that happens and a lot of drama a lot of family drama a lot of fighting over things here but it ends up um, all coming together in this amazing way. So this is just reminding me of that a little bit. Um, so there could be something now where an inheritance has changed because of the birth of a child or something. Or just like you were going to inherit the family business. But when people hear about what you want to do with it, they like don't like that. So they don't want you to have it. But they can't take what's yours here. There's something here about that. Uh, where the universe is looking out for you and there could be a person that's looking out for you but it's kind of like this energy of don't talk don't tell other people what you're doing there's going to come a time to act and this is when you're going to act and you're going to wait for this right time this perfect opportunity to show something and this other person changes their mind and they end up offering something to you so this could be having to do with career as well you know, because there's something here where maybe somebody isn't being honest because of a lot of drama that they have experienced, the jealousy that they're experiencing, or things are going to be better for them when you're around to help them heal some kind of chaos. Because this is reminding me now of the movie with um, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. And oh, isn't that funny? Betty White, that spirit right there. Because Betty White, I have the quote in my bathroom <laughs> uh, hanging on my mirror that Betty White said, um, she said, women are like butterflies. We may be delicate and dainty, but we can fly through a hurricane. And look at how these butterflies are flying in a beautiful forest and it's what you want. So there may be something difficult that you have to do, that you have had to go through to get what you want. And now you're kind of wondering, am I even going to get what I want? You are. The universe is going to have your back. Even if there's something trying to get in the way, it's not going to happen. And you're going to know when to act with this drama and when not to. Because there's something here about, do you know when somebody is like putting you on the spot and they're trying to put you in a bad situation they created all this drama because they're jealous they want what you have and when you try to defend yourself you look very guilty and someone's trying to poke you right and then you make this big scene and then everybody's thinking about the scene and not actually what actually happened so there is a time to act and there is a time not to act and you're gonna know this and you let it be at a standstill, that's fine. Because this something is going to come towards you. And you're going to have everything that you need to move forward here. What the heck? There could be like, you could find that like children or just like a person who has a very useful outlook on life they might not even know what's going on or they may not know the details of what's going on but they may say something to you that's kind of like whoa that's the answer and they don't even know that they're doing it you know 
So that's very interesting here. It's kind of like don't engage in this drama, okay? There is something here that you have worked very hard for. And this is going to be shown. This is going to be seen. This is going to be orchestrated. Look, you have the death card here and then you have temperance here with the fool. So there's something here that's coming together here. That's going to lead to a new opportunity for you here. To birth something new into your life. To kind of set you up here for this dream life. So that you're able to be kind of like living this dream here. And oh, you are going to get this dream for this child or this new business or this new passion that you have. To be able to explore this. To be able to live in this world in this way. You know, and this is going to lead to a lot of abundance for you. And then also, you know, love. It's kind of like finding out, oh, somebody did care about me all along and I didn't even know it. They did have a heart. The high priestess. Be a Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You could have a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that's trying to find out more information about what's going on here, about what's going on with you, about what new opportunity you're going to go for. Here, there's a lot of nosy people here. It's like everybody's just like attracted to your energy. And some of them are really good, genuine people and a new love interest. And some of them are just not, you know? And it's like you're kind of balancing out. Look at this. You're balancing out who's okay and who's not okay. Because within yourself, you're balanced, you're all right, and you're going to see that this things are going to change. Things are going to be shown. So the right people that need to see it are going to see it. So you're going to have this riches. And look at how they're standing in a very similar posture. So you just being independent, you, you know, you know, choosing to think positive thoughts you going through this struggle to birth something new something amazing here uh you're not just going to be stable you're not just going to be all right you're not just going to weather this storm you know this is creating riches and a romantic person and then you have forces working against you so this is like there's ba it's it's pretty back and forth here You have the Hierophant. It could be somebody here that doesn't want somebody to get married or something. To a particular person. But there's somebody here that, you know, they want this with you. They 100% want this with you. This could be people that are trying to push somebody else on you when you have a certain person that you want to be with here. There, there is a celebration that's going to happen here. It could have to do with a wedding that's going to happen. It could have to do with going to a wedding and then everybody's all up in your business. And, you know, people are accusing people of different things here. Blah, blah, blah. But there, there's a way here that's going to be made here. And there's definitely something about a child that, you know, could be important here. There is a way that there is some kind of an event here that you're, you know, it could just be something here that you do that somebody sees there's something that you do. And you end up benefiting because of this and you weren't even expecting it. That's what this chain of events that will change your life is ultimately about here. You will be playing a different role. Yeah, there's something here about now you're going to be kind of like the head of the family or something here. Could be about, could be a head of a family that is trying, is, is, is kind of working against you here. But look, you have the six of cups and you have the emperor here. If you're worried if you're going to be able to support yourself, you're going to be able to support a family. If you're going to meet somebody here, you know, that you can have. A family with if you're are you gonna have these resources you know coming together because of a child here or because of something new that you're creating here a new idea that you have yeah that's what this is about so this is a very important time for you 
to trust your inner knowing. You know, the Queen of Wands, this is why I'm saying your energy is very magnetic at this time. Everybody's like drawn to you, drawn to you. And this black cat here, you know, the black cats can see in the spiritual realm. And they can see, you know, our, our light bodies, not just our physical being here. And so this cat is helping her discern. This is right. This is not right. This person is okay. This person is not okay. You know, this situation, this situation. And within you, you may merit. Ah, my brain. You may very well know this, but be careful because there could be some people here that have masks on. And this cat could be representative of a child that has really good discernment or something. But doesn't have to be. But there is something here about you're going to understand who's right for you to be paired with. And spirit wants you because there's something really amazing that you're manifesting here that, you know, you're bringing together here. And spirit wants you to have these kinds of people around you, not these kinds of people that you can't trust. There could be people, something that you're working really hard on and people cannot be trusted about this. It's like they want to put you down for this idea, but they're going to take the idea and try to get some kind of success here because you have the hermit here. So this is like somebody here that's like within themselves. They don't believe that they are enough. They need these tricks. They need to cheat. They need to lie. They need to steal in order to feel fulfilled here. And this could be a person who, you know, they, ha they don't have a lot of kind words to say about others. A lot of gossiping, a lot of talking about people behind their back. And they have always been betrayed. They have always been, you know, and it's like if this person just put this amount of work into themselves, they would, you know, their life would be so amazing. But it has been a lot of drama, a lot of negativity. And this could be a person that's very financial success, financially successful here. But they also create a lot of drama here. And this is like reminding me of Meryl Streep and... Um, yeah, what's that movie? <laughs> With the four girls and their little women. The new little the newer version of the little women with Meryl Streep where you know she's kind of you know she's gossiping about everybody she's got a lot of judgments about what everybody is doing Joe March was like going there every day she's reading to this old lady and then the old lady wants to take freaking uh Amy on her trip to Europe and not Joe oh well, that really sucks because she spent all this time with this horrible woman with all this drama, you know, she was so dedicated and then she didn't even get to go on the trip, did she? But it ended up working out because when Meryl Streep dies, she leaves Joe the house. Joe ends up being inspired and goes to New York. She ends up meeting the love of her life. This is the chain of events that I'm talking about. And then she ends up writing this book. It ends up taking off. She uses the house that she has left uh, by her aunt to open up a school. You know, this is a chain of events. And, the, and Meryl Streep would have hated the idea. You know, she wanted things to be very traditional. She didn't want this new age girls can go to school too, you know. So there's something here like this that's going to happen. And you're knowing when to be bold and knowing when not to be bold is very important. Okay, this is this looks amazing. This looks amazing. There's so many blessings here for you that you're doing for yourself that you deserve to have. It's like people have always thought of you as a child, as a child, as a child. And you're not, you know. You're a very capable person and you're a force to be reckoned with. People are about to be absolutely amazed at what it is that you can accomplish here. Because you are limitless. These riches, this chain of events, this status change here. Okay, this love. I don't know where that card is. Here. You know, you're deserving of all of this. So screw anybody that gets in the way of that. Romance is in the air, and there's a lot of people that are going to be jealous of that, um, but that's their problem. Who cares? Okay. 
Thank you, Aries. This is what I have for you. I hope this resonated. If it did and you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome.